Well, hello everyone, it's Angie. So, ooh, this is gonna be a little bit, I'm gonna try not to be so bumpy, but I wanted to show you guys, we're gonna go mushroom hunting in just a second, but to start out, I wanted to show you guys my beautiful crab apple, well, this is an apple tree. This is a regular apple tree, but look at my crab apple tree. Isn't it gorgeous? It smells so, so good. It is just totally overtaking. Um, we've got the windows open in the house. It's about 80 degrees today. And it is totally, totally filling the house with a beautiful, beautiful smell. Probably got plenty of bees pollinating, which is good. Yep, I can see some bees flying around. But look at how great that thing looks. It's so gorgeous. Let me see if I can get a better angle. Hold on a second. This is my street. This is my tufts of grass in the yard. Jeff cut the grass and he didn't do a very good job. So let's see from this angle. Oh yeah, that looks better. You can see the whole thing there. Doesn't that look gorgeous? I love spring. I'm so glad that it's finally here. Finally getting some warm leather. So um, I'm gonna put you on pause for a minute and then when we get out to the back 40, and we get in the woods. Um, we're gonna go morel hunting today. See how many morels we can find. All right, I'll see you in a second. So I thought we'd stop and say hi to the chicks, some of them, on our way out. I don't know where everybody else is. Um, say hi to the chickens on our way out to the woods to find the, to find the morel mushrooms. This is our rooster. He doesn't really have a name. Maybe I should have a naming contest. What do you think his name should be? He's a nice guy. He's not mean like Mindy's rooster Chuck. He's a nice guy. Can you give us a uh, 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 uh? give us a cock a doodle doo? Oh, now you're gonna be quiet. You've been loud all day, but now you're gonna be quiet. Come on. I tell the my granddaughters that he says cock a doodle doo. How are you? Is what he's saying to everybody. I don't have any treats for you. I'm sorry. I didn't bring any treats out. Those are that one lady right there, the white one. She is called a um, a brahm. No, is it a brahma chicken? But she has feathers on her feet. She's kind of cool. I can't remember the what breed of chicken she is, but she got feathered feet. I don't know. Everybody else must be in the house. I don't mean the house. They're in their coop. That's their coop there. You're not going to talk to us today? Okay. A little hello. Just a little hello. Okay, everybody. Can you spot the mushroom? There's a mushroom here. Can you spot it? Everybody look here. It's like a weird game of Where's Waldo. They're really not easy to find because they look a lot like dead wood and leaves that are scattered on the forest floor. But there's a mushroom right there. Um, we're looking for morels, which are a very famous Michigan mushroom. Are you gonna get that one, Jeff? Okay, Okay. there's a huge one. Not too huge, but it's a good looking one. Jeff, um, can you pick that so they can see the, the size of your hand versus the size that's so it's a good size but that's what a morel looks like and we put them in a mesh bag because that way it um, spreads the spores you want to spread the spores around so that you don't diminish your your uh, future growing potential there's another one over there Jeff Scott Cool, cool, cool. So those are the morels. We'll go back further into the woods. Got the pond is over here on one side. This is the trail around to the back of the pond, um, back by where we hunt, and we'll see how many more we can find. Okay, so we were just back here looking for morels not too long ago, and this was not here. And look at how big that guy is. He's huge. So we'll pick him and eat him tonight with our steak and onions for dinner.